Hello everybody and welcome to Quest for Creative. In the last episode, I had spent far too much time trying to kill demons to get demon hearts. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of doing that. I, I'm actually kind of sick and tired of witchery because of these stupid ass demons. And I did look it up on the wiki and apparently you can do it two ways. You can either kill them and get the demon hearts, which I've killed like 90 of them. And I can't get a freaking heart. Or you can capture them. And I can't quite figure out how you're supposed to capture them. Because the binding spell doesn't work with the summoning spell. And yeah, it just kind of breaks. So yeah, fuck this shit. Let's play with something else for a little while. I'm tired. I'm bored. I want to do something else. In fact... I don't even want to be on this goddamn planet anymore. So, let's take care of that problem. Let's go somewhere else. So today, I'm going to dive into Galacticraft. Now, I freaking love Galacticraft because, well, I like space in general, and it's kind of fun. Um, so I've been doing a lot of work, and... Believe me, you'll thank me for me doing all of this work because this stuff takes forever. And it doesn't matter if you're using the electric compressor or just the regular compressor that runs off of coal. It just takes for fucking ever. Anyways, uh, so as this is Quest for Creative, I am going to start off with getting a fuel source uh, because you need fuel to go to the moon and normally what you would do you would go and let's see you would grab this guy the portable oil extractor and a couple of these liquid canisters and dig around underground until you find oil now we could go do that. We could go caving and go find oil. I'm fairly sure there's oil somewhere around here. I seem to remember something about there being an oil fire underground somewhere. I don't remember. But why would we do that when we have Mine Factory reloaded? Yeah, so I'm going to play with this thing. Let's see. So we need the oil fabricator. We need the refinery. We need the fuel loader uh, for later. And I need liquid ducts which i should have lying around here somewhere not in there not in there not that one this one okay so uh fluid ducts not liquid ducts fluid ducts um and probably some pneumatic servos i don't know we're gonna find out i also need power let's see that's redstone energy conduit is that the right one I have no idea. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. We're going to fiddle with this. Um, and I'm going to put you right here. Here. That way I don't have to worry about this pipe getting in the way. Uh, all right. So we got power coming in here. Let's cut you out. You're not useful for anything, so let's cut you out. And I need aluminum wire. And I got a lot of aluminum wire. Uh, let's see, max amps, 20 kilo amps, and that's 400 kilo amps. I have absolutely no idea how much power is going through these things, considering these are rated in kilo amps, but these are measured, measured in kilowatts. Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Let's use the heavy aluminum wire. That's what I have it here for. Boop. That's apparently what I was using anyway. So, uh, I need power to power the oil fabricator. So, from what I can gather... Oh, it does connect. Oh, and it does work. Interesting. All right. And we are getting oil extremely slowly. Holy crap. Um, hang on. Let's cheat. Boop, 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 boop. That didn't seem to help any. Okay, so that didn't cheat the way I thought it would. Um, oh, I wonder if they fixed that glitch. Ah, I'll fiddle with that later. Uh, that glitch that I have with the infinite power source right there, I wonder if they fixed that. 
because uh, okay, so I got the latest uh, Attack of the B Team update. Um, I just got it today. I don't know if it came out earlier than that, but this is when I got it. And uh, so, yeah, I, I first thing I logged, I logged in to look around, see if there's anything different, anything like instantly noticeably different. The first thing I noticed was the map up in the upper right-hand corner there. It looks far cooler than it did before, but I think that's because I had shrunk the map and it reset like all of my settings and it's kind of annoying. The second thing I noticed is that this was in my inventory. No idea what the hell it is, no idea what it's used for, it just magically appeared in my inventory, which begs the question, what was in that inventory slot that got an ID mixed up and I have permanently lost? I don't know, all of my tools seem to be here, my shovel, my pickaxe, or my diamond axe, my pickaxe sits over here because I use that neat little trick where you can right click and put down torches, and yeah, so I don't. I have no idea where this thing came from. Can I sit it down? No, I can't seem to do anything with it. Um, it's it's something from Tinker's Construct, and it's something about battle signs, and I'm assuming it's in, supposed to be for creative mode only, considering it says creative tool modifier. Uh, battle signs were buffed recently. This might make up for it. No idea what the hell that means. Go away. I'm honest when I say I have no fracking clue where that came from. All right, so let us go into the refinery now. Uh, I have no idea. I'm fairly sure the refinery has an input that I have to worry about, which we could probably figure it out by, well, doing that. Hmm. Does it have to be on top, perhaps, like that? Or possibly have a pneumatic servo in it. I honestly don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I've not really played with this before. Uh, boop. No. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't seem to be working. Um... Maybe it's one of these sides here. Because I know one of them is for power. No! Oh, I get it, 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 I get it. Okay. Boop, boop. All right. So one of these is the input. That's the input for power. So is it this one? No. How about this one? Yes! Okay, so we figured it out. It's not the green one. The green one must be an output. All righty. So if I take the fuel loader and set it, say, there, yeah, that'll work. And I use the fluidux, boop, boop. Wait, was that the input? No, that was not the input. Crap! I put you in the wrong spot. Yeah, that'll work. Um, that's power. Boop. I have no idea if that's actually working because this thing isn't powered yet. Um, so we need power. Boop. Boop. Do we have power? We have power. Are we refining anything? No. We have oil, but we're not getting any fuel. Boop. Ah. Now it's working. Now it's doing its thing. Okay, so now we have fuel. Uh, this is not getting any fuel. So let's try adding a pneumatic servo real quick and see if that works. Boop. No. All right, so we know that the square one is the input for power. What color was that thing? That's green, so wait, didn't we find out that green is output, not input? So does that mean is this gets its input from somewhere else? Maybe underneath? Um, boop. Let us find out. I need something a little bit higher than that. Oop, those are not the right thing. There we go. Yeah, I, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I admit it, I got no idea what the hell I'm doing. 
Boop. All right, so if I pop this and look underneath it, there are no inputs. Top is not an input. That's power. That's output. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. But we should focus on getting this thing connected up to the system anyways. Uh, let's actually flip you around. There, and I'll put power here. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so you have power now. So you have power now, good. And then what we need is the launch pad. Hi, Creeper. Bye, Creeper. And the launch pad goes in a three by three pattern in front of the fuel loader. Boop. And we can see that it actually connected. So now we have the rocket launch pad, we have the connected to the fuel loader, and we have the fuel loader without any fuel. Um, and that does really, really confuse me. Okay, so fuel, fuel is in the fluid duct. Ooh, and that's actually promising. There we go. Okay, so it needed either power or it needed actually attached to the launch pad. I don't know. But now we have fuel not producing it as fast as I expected, but, I mean, that's still a lot of uh, RF per tick, or MJ per tick, or EU per tick, or whatever the power consumption we use right now. Um, what power consumption? RF. Okay, we use RF. Hi. Bye. All right, so now we have fuel, and we don't actually need a lot, because... Oh, I got a skeleton skull. Boop. <laughs> and I got pants, too. All right, so then we need a rocket. Now, to get a rocket, we need the NASA workbench. And this workbench looks sweet and all, but it's fracking huge. Takes up a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. So this, this bloody thing is huge ridiculously huge but we have all of this stuff here and i need let's see i know i need a bunch of compressed steel no heavy duty plate right hang on where is that's the tier one rocket so yeah heavy duty plate four rocket fins a rocket engine and a nose cone now i have the heavy duty plates uh in here are the four rocket fins the nose cone, and I never built the final component. This guy, the rocket engine. Uh, okay, so I need a button, heavy-duty steel plate, tin canister, boop. Uh, let's see, tin canister. Wait, did that say vent? That did say vent. So, vent. For some reason, I need an oxygen vent on the bottom of the thing instead of, you know, Rocket propulsion vent or whatever. Uh, heavy duty plates. Heavy duty plates. And then I need flint and steel. Probably an intact flint and steel, so I doubt that would work. So I need flint. Whee! Flint, 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 flint. Where do I keep that stuff? In here. Flint. Boop. Steel. Technically. Other way. Flint and steel, and then I need a button. And buttons are made from smooth stone, right? Two of those. Right? No. One smooth stone makes a button. Okay. I was mistaken. Easy fix. Plop. All right, and then button, flint and steel, and we have our tier one rocket engine. Now, like I said, you got to use the NASA workbench to make the rocket. Uh, just most of it is hull plating, nose cones, the fins, and the engine. And then we got a tier one rocket, Whoop. which I always thought that was freaking awesome. It's like, screw you, I'm carrying a bloody rocket over my head. Tough man. Granted, I am a demigod, so. Boop. And now we have our rocket. And this should be f fueling it. 
I don't know how much. It's not telling me how much fuel I have stored. Oh, I actually have to hit the button marked load fuel. And it takes a sweet time. Hang on, let's look at this. E. No. Wait, how do I get into the inventory of this thing? Oh, C for inventory. Okay, so that's showing my fuel. And... Boop. Now my rocket is full. Uh, let us get out of here. Get out of F5 mode. Uh, boop. And we still have that much fuel. So it used like one pixel of fuel. Seriously, you do not need a lot of fuel to run a rocket to go to the moon. Which is really strange. One would think you would need an ass load of fuel to get to the moon. But apparently not. Of course, this is an extremely, extremely tiny, tiny rocket. So I can imagine that, uh, well, you need less fuel than, say, a shuttle, like the NASA shuttle. Hang on, this is annoying. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so what else do we need? Hi. He's just passing through. It's all good. He's wigging out, but it's still all good. So what else do we need? Well, we kind of do need to breathe in outer space. And that's where the oxygen gear comes in. And that's also where the oxygen collector and the oxygen compressor come in. Galacticraft is confusing. And expensive. And a pain in the ass. Not joking when I say that. Galacticraft is a giant pain in the ass. Alright, so we need this guy. And that's power. Boop. Boop. Alright, so now we have power. Now we're getting oxygen in, which is perfect because, well, there's plenty of oxygen around. And then we need to output it into the oxygen compressor. Yeah, didn't think so. Boop, boop. And to connect the oxygen collector to the oxygen compressor... We have to use stuff that is in here, the oxygen pipe. Let's see if this breaks. I didn't crash the game! Okay. Yeah, that was a joke back from um, Community Mod. The first time I was playing with Community Mod, I sat down an oxygen pipe, crashed the server, completely killed the server. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny until I realized I killed the bloody server. Kind of broke everything. Boop. All right, so now we have pa or oxygen coming in, oxygen being stored. Now we need to put it somewhere useful, and that's where heavy oxygen tanks come in. Now there are also light oxygen tanks and medium oxygen tanks, and it's all about how much is used, uh, compressed tin and tin canisters or compressed copper and tin canisters. Insanely easy to make. Everything's easy to make. I figure, honestly, when I was did this the first time, the first time I ever made this stuff, the hardest part was actually getting the wool. Seriously. Because, I mean, steel is relatively easy to make. Um, boop. Because you got to cook iron. And then you put it in a compressor. Oh, screw it. Where did I find that? Boop. Yeah. You could put steel in a compressor and you get compressed steel. Tin canisters are just a bunch of tin. I mean, it's insanely easy. The hardest part is getting the wool, and that just involves going out hunting for sheep. Or, unless you have a sheep farm that is now completely devoid of sheep. Devoid? Wait. Was that the right word? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, no sheep left in the sheep farm, which kind of pisses me off. But, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I mean, heavy oxygen tanks, they give you the most air, so you may as well use them. Now, this takes a little while to fill. Um, it says it's active, but I don't see the bar going up. I guess I'll give it a few minutes. Wait, is the bar going up? 
I'm sorry, being colorblind for me, seeing red on black is almost impossible. I think, I think I see that bar going up. I cannot see it. I'm not joking when I say this. I cannot see that bar. Yeah, it's going up. Okay, so it's just taking its sweet old time. I'm not kidding. I can't see that bar, but it's kind of turning orange now, so I'm starting to see it. Um, yeah, so that'll take a few minutes, but let's see. Is there anything else we need to worry about? Okay, so we have oxygen tanks. Boop. We need an oxygen mask. We need oxygen gear, and that stuff all goes under that tab in your inventory. Oxygen gear, oxygen mask, and then the heavy tanks will go here and here. Uh, we need a parachute. Well, you know what? I don't know if we actually need a parachute. Thinking about it. Boop. Um, because a parachute is to, you know, I mean, you fall from the freaking sky when you come back to the planet. And... Well, I mean, I can go up pretty high and just fall and not take any damage because, you know, I have that flying gene from advanced genetics. So I might not actually have to worry about a parachute at all. I don't know. But I'm going to take you because we're going to mark our first visit to the moon with our red flag here. I wanted the U.S. flag. Uh, where are you? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Yeah, right there. The American flag. I wanted that because, well, I'm from America, and it's there. I wanted to use it, but I have no idea how to make it. I click on it, and it doesn't show anything, but the red flag, the red flag's easy. You just take the flag, re uh, just red dye, no problem. The flags are easy. Steel pole, which is three steel, uh, or compressed steel plates, and canvas, which is a bunch of string and sticks. Boom, done. All right, so are you done filling up yet? Yes, your tank is full, so we go to another one. All righty, and then I sit around and wait again. But until then, we can throw in one of our fuel tanks. And does it do it? No, it appears not to do it. Maybe it'll do it later on. I don't know if it's showing it. Uh, normally what happens is that your fu your oxygen level shows up in the upper right-hand corner, but the map's in the upper right-hand corner, so it kind of screws with everything. And I can't remember what button I push. That's definitely not the right button. That's not the right button. That makes the map go away. Oh, but that answers that question. The oxygen levels are not in the upper right-hand corner right now. Maybe they will be when they get on the moon. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't remember what button I push to get into the settings of the map so I can shrink it or change its location. I'll fit it with that later and poke at it and figure it out. Um, ooh, that's another thing we need, the glowstone torches. Uh, one of the things that I want to do while we're up there is um, go and track down the Tier 2 rocket plans. Now, the Tier 2 rocket plans are in a dungeon on the moon. Let me just throw these in here for safekeeping, just to get them out of my way. Uh, so we have to go to the moon, we have to fight things, we have to kill things to get the tier two rocket so we can go to Mars. And I wanna go to Mars because that's just a cool freaking thing. Um, and uh, so I, I uh, uh, pfft. Torches don't work in an oxygenless environment because, as you can see, they use flame, and flame requires three things heat, combustible material, and oxygen. And if you don't have those three things, you don't have fire. Well, on the moon, there's kind of no oxygen at all, so torches don't work. So that's why Galacticraft has added the glowstone torch. And they kind of suck for torches, but they work. I mean, they're functional. Boop. All right, and there's one other thing that I do want to make that I totally forgot to make, and I can't find it over here. There it is. The frequency module. Um, 
That doesn't look too bloody hard. Or did I make one already? I seem to remember hunting for a redstone repeater. Oh, I don't have any of those basic wafers either. Crap. How do I make a basic wafer? Um, basic wafer, diamond, redstone torch. I'll make a quick one real quick. That's relatively easy. Uh, boop. No, not that one. In there. I didn't make a repeater anyways. Boop. Because I don't have any spare. Um... Yeah, I need a redstone repeater, which is just smooth stone, redstone, and redstone torches. I got redstone there. I have smooth stone in the chest. And redstone torches are in that chest there. Three of those. Whee! Two of those. And that's all I need to make a repeater. And then I use the repeater to make this thingamabob. Ooh, I need those too. Boop. That that and that all right so how do i make you i make you you go there you go there and they get stuffed there out of my way then compressed iron aluminum and two redstone boop, boop. compressed aluminum compressed iron and there we go. We have this frequency module. Now, the frequency module plugs into the side of your helmet. And it's really cool. I don't know how... How do I make this go closer? I mean, look how far away F5 is now. After I got into the cockpit of the, the shuttle over there. How do I make that closer? I have a cat sitting on my head. Uh, but I really do like how it shows up like it on me. So I have this satellite sticking out of my head now. Like something from South Park. Boop. Yay. All right. So let's put away our stuff. Because I'm not going to use it. And I will probably be coming back. Because I won't have anything. But no. Our goal today is to go to the moon. And bounce around there. Uh, I just got to empty out my inventory real quick. That way I don't just... Well have all kinds of crap in my inventory and it's annoying and taking up space and i'm back and i had a thought while i was emptying out my inventory there is kind of one more thing that would be insanely insanely important when i go to the moon and that's the ability to come back that would be kind of nice now when you go to the moon you'll automatically get your rocket and your launch pad back with a little bit of fuel. Now, that's great and all, except you have no way to load the fuel. Um, so what you got to do is you got to make another fuel loader, some way to power it, some way to get the power to the fuel loader, and some way to carry the f extra fuel to the fuel loader. So... Yeah, remember to bring that stuff. I also kind of need something for power. Coal. Take a stack of this and leave it up there. Boop. And, uh, yeah, so there we go. Um, I like how this actually works over here, but it doesn't work over there. <laughs> I've been able to pull everything from all over my little Project Red system from here. It takes a couple of minutes, but it works. Um, bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. All right. And you know what? Just for safety's sake, what I'm going to do is grab an extra fuel canister. And it's not going to let me, is it? Uh, boop. Well, that doesn't work. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up an, another fuel canister just to make sure. Wait, are you crapping me? Like, nothing's attached and this thing's still outputting fuel. Oh, no, it's just filling up in there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, all I've got to do is wait for this thing to fill up, which is going to take four, 
fracking ever because this thing doesn't pull out that much oil. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to cut again because, holy crap, I just wasted an entire cut. All right, I'm back for the last time, and let's just go once again over all of the stuff that we need to actually make sure we're doing this right. Galacticraft is a complicated freaking mod. I mean, just this, just to get my ass off the ground, holy crap. All right, so I have extra fuel, which is actually way more than I need. Uh, empty fuel canister so I can pick up the spare fuel that will be in the rocket, which I believe is more than enough to actually get me back just from that. Uh, power... Uh, power generation, fuel loading, because the rocket and the launch pad will actually come with me somehow. Uh, I got my flag. You know, I got my air, air distribution system, parachute to come back, which I don't think I need. A frequency module, which I'm going to fiddle with because they're a little weird. And yeah, so we are ready to go. So in the next episode, I'm going to be going to the moon. And then, so I'm going to see you guys all in the next episode. And as always, no, I'm kidding. Let's go to the fucking moon. Seriously, I'm sick and tired of this crap. Let's just go to the fucking moon. All right, so we got space to launch, uh, WASD to actually turn, and C to access the internal inventory. Boop. Go away. And I don't know why we can turn, but we can turn. Um, I don't know if there's any value to it. We Oh my god, did it destroy the land? I think it just destroyed the land underneath the launch pad. I can't see it too well because of all the smoke, but I, I seriously think it popped the blocks below the launch pad. That's actually kind of cool. And off we go! And I love how on the side there it has the little thing. And uh, if you listen, you can hear the rocket. And eventually sometime in the future. I have no idea where we just took off from. Some place in South America, apparently. But it's doing it. It's vaguely doing it. The sound from the engines is gone. And I really love how they do that. It makes it, it's like all quiet and stuff now. Though I would point out if you're in the rocket right now and you actually have, um, yeah, let's go to the moon. Uh, if you're in the uh, in the rocket and you have oxygen in the rocket, then you're gonna be, you know, you're you're gonna hear the rocket engine. Anyways, oh, um, okay, there we go. This is a little bit weird. All right, so, whoa, holy crap, we're catching up to the moon quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have to hold space to actually slow down, or we basically kill ourselves. And apparently, we landed on the moon at night. Is the sun coming up? I can't tell. Because the days are appropriately significantly longer so like the days on the moon will take like 14 uh earth days i guess whoop oh there we go now we're on the moon and now we're getting the glitchy glitchy with the map no oh, let's get out of f5 view so yes we actually come down in a lander and if we right click we can actually get our fuel bloop 599 fuel so it took 401 fuel to get here. So yes, this is actually more than enough to get back. We got our launch pads, and we got our rocket. And then we can actually pop this, which I'm going to, because as far as I can tell, you can't change where you land. And that's it. So we are on the moon. We are significantly lighter. Whee! Of course, I can still fly, so it doesn't really matter. I just like playing with gravity. And yes, the sun is coming up. Awesome. So in the next episode, we are going to play around on the sun during the day. Um, I guess if I was thinking, I would have put a chest somewhere. I have my markers. I don't know what the markers are, but I have my markers. 
like that one over there is apparently the you know home and all that fun crap <sighs> all right so we are here we are on boop we are on the moon so in the name of gods of time everywhere i say I claim the moon in the name of everybody that gives a damn. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.